All right, so I'm going to show you how Dispersor works and what your best bet is at replacing it if you don't want to buy Dispersor. So I have this free plugin here that analyzes the phase and frequency of a plugin. So if we open up Dispersor, right, and we up the amount a little bit, you can see that it adds like this downward saw on the phase plot here. And you can see the amount control actually just adds more. You can see here it adds eight downward saws here, right? And it goes up to 32. So this is the actual effect that it has on your audio. And um, the pinch here is actually the same thing as the resonance in the kilohertz filter. And in fact, if kilohertz added an all pass filter here and made this slope go up to 32 instead of 6, then it would be identical to Dispersor. And to show you how simple Dispersor actually is, I have this um, band split here I made with auto filter. And you can see it, uh, it adds the exact same effect on your face. So if I were to duplicate this 32 times, it'd just be identical to Risperser. But I, you shouldn't do that because I actually have a rack here that's made of 64 auto filter instances and it wrecks my CPU. So what you can actually do to replace the Risperser is get this free plugin called Melda Freeform Phase, right? And it lets you draw right on the face plot. But um, we want to add downward saws, right? So when you first open up this plugin, it only lets you draw like this. And trying to draw downward saws on this is kind of hard. So what you want to do is Disable drawing mode, add snap to grid on the Y axis and choose the smallest number here. And then enable the saw curvature. And then you want to add points ranging 360 degrees. So one at minus 180 and another at plus 180. And then um, you're just going to drag this point here. And one thing about this plugin is that it it's inversed. So if you want to add downward sauce to the face, you have to draw upward sauce in the Melda plugin. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's a bug or something. But you can get pretty close to kilohertz disperser, as you can see here. Right, so it's pretty much the same effect. And the main difference here is that um, the Melda one is actually linear phase, which means that instead of post ringing, it has pre ringing. And I'm going to show how that sounds now. Right, so this is what Dispersor does. You can see on the os oscilloscope that it makes the tail longer. And if we compare it to Melda, you can see it adds pre-ringing. So maybe this isn't as great on like kicks or something, but I think it sounds a lot better on basses. Let me compare them. This is what it sounds like without anything. Disperser.
and Melda free from face. And with this Melda plugin, you can actually use the um, death knob here. So if you want like 30 saws, you can just drag this, but you can also leave this to one and drag the death knob. So it kind of adds them in a smooth, smooth manner. And with this, you can actually go up to a hundred down, um, down saws. So yeah, I think this is the best bet you have at replacing Disperser if you don't want to buy this. Because Disperser is 60 euros and this one is free. One thing to note about the Melda plugin though is that you can't resize the free version at all. And you can't, can't save presets at all. And what I actually did to circumvent that is you can go to the settings and set default settings. So that whenever I open up a new Melda the freeform phase, it automatically opens up this setting. So I don't have to draw it again every time. So um, I think that that's it. I have another vital tutorial coming up soon. I just got to record it. Anyway, thanks for watching.